just as expected, the Missouri Tigers are looking to appeal the NCAA sanctions that was put on them uh, a couple of weeks ago, mainly looking at the postseason ban and some of the scholarship restriction. I think they really need to look into this. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart for Vernon Speak Sports, mostly talking about Auburn football and the rest of the N SEC. I'm going to give a shout out to my fearless and true gang, War Eagle. Now, Athletics Director Jim Sturk said he didn't expect to appeal the probation sentence and the vacation of wins, but would, would appeal the postseason bans for baseball, football, and softball teams, along with recruiting restrictions and scholarship reductions. Now, we all just went through and kind of followed, most of you all who have followed my page, you understand how important and how exciting recruiting is. And for a program like Missouri who wants to be competitive with the Georgia Bulldogs, with the Florida Gators, on a year-in and a year-out basis, they cannot afford even a single year of recruiting and scholarship reductions or restrictions because that recruiting restriction, that's a whole fiscal year, at least, that you can't go around and, and, and expose yourself and expose your program to some of the top athletes, especially in the Midwestern area where they have uh, some level of influence. They have some good selling points back in 2012 and 2000, I mean, 2013 and 2014. They were in the SEC championship game, at least showing some level of uh, competitiveness in the SEC conference in football. OK, uh, Missouri traditionally doesn't really play all that bad in basketball either. Uh, the former Big 12 school didn't necessarily hit a home run, but uh, possibly got a ticket seller in Kelly Bryant this year. And the postseason ban, like I said before, isn't like the biggest deal. But when you look at long term trying to build a program, having those recruiting restrictions can be deadly, especially as competitive as the SEC conference is. You cannot afford a single year of not being able to recruit on a high level. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is as we go into this season, some of your favorite teams are going to be playing what we call cupcake teams. So there's some pros in the cupcake teams, and then there's some cons in playing the cupcake team. So number one is usually the cupcake teams are, uh, it happens because of scheduling restrictions. I guarantee you, you know, Florida State, Alabama, Auburn, they do not want to play Kent State per se. Okay, now you can't load your schedule up with Michigan, Wisconsin, and Florida every single week because I mean you're going to hurt you. You're going to kill your players. But at the same time, no team like Duke, for example, they probably would have loved to have played, say, Penn State or uh, Washington or somewhere one like that. But someone seriously in contention uh, for a playoff berth is not trying to start their season off against Alabama. That's how you wind up with Alabama and teams like that playing these cupcake teams. So when you look at a cupcake game, there are some things within that game that you want to look for as to whether your team is moving in the right direction or not. Let's just say, for example, certain plays that happen in cupcake games usually are not going to happen, say, against in, in high, more high consequential games like, say, uh, Florida versus LSU. Now, when Florida's playing Savannah State, for example, there are a lot of a lot of the points are going to just come from the mistakes of the other team. That's how you have scores like 70 to 9 and all that other stuff. But what you really want to dissect is the fundamentals, the execution. You know, that crazy touchdown where the running back reverses field, would that have worked? Say in a more high consequence game, high consequence SEC game. Probably not. Okay, so those are the little things you want to look out for in a cupcake game. If the score is 80 to nothing, but it's filled with kickoff returns for touchdowns, those you got you want to look for what is sustainable, for what would work against a power for another power five team. Okay, because have you ever noticed you'll have a team like say Florida State from last year that will completely blow out Delaware State but then come back the next week and get blown out by Clemson, okay? Those are the kind of things that happen. All right, once again, this is just a casual Saturday. Uh, once again, it's 
Kennard Vernon Stewart for Vernon Speak Sports. Talk to you guys soon.